Would you rather sleep in than go to gym at 6 a.m. in the morning? When you come home from work, would you rather have a glass of wine? <laughs> as opposed to hit the gym? Well, you're not alone. There's a whole country of people called France. And the French, they just don't work out. And yet, they stay thin. In this video, I'll be giving you five of the reasons why I believe that exercising can actually be detrimental. Yes, you heard me detrimental to weight loss. So let's get right to it. So you see shows like The Greatest Loser and you're thinking to yourself, I'm going to get to the gym. I'm going to work out and I'm going to lose some weight. Wrong. Most likely you will not lose weight exercising. Why is that? Because studies have shown that for exercise and working out to make any kind of significant dent in your weight loss effort, you would have to work out 60 to 90 minutes a day. Nobody has the time or the stamina to do that. Not unless you're an athlete. For instance, have you tried jogging for 15 minutes that's really hard we'll try doing it for 90 minutes we're always glamorizing fitness and exercising we're not putting enough effort on our nutrition while exercising is very healthy it's not the best of weight loss tool it increases your health but not your weight loss and if you do have 60 or 90 minutes to go to the gym or if you've got that kind of stamina bless your heart however have you thought about the downfall of exercising that much and for that long of a period of time increased appetite it's human nature we come home from the gym we've been on the treadmill for half an hour we're sweaty we're hungry but we feel accomplished and instead of having one packet of oatmeal for breakfast we might have two. It's very normal. But we tend to overestimate how many calories working out actually burns. For instance, if you want the treadmill for half an hour, it only burns about 200 calories. It takes 3,500 calories to burn off just one pound. It would be better to cut off, let's say, soda from your diet. Two large sodas have about 260 calories. Cut that out from your diet and skip the treadmill. It makes more sense. Think about it. If you're spending an hour to an hour and a half at the gym, you're driving together, or even if you're working out from home, that's a lot of time out of your schedule. And generally speaking, in our lifestyle in America, we just don't have that kind of time. So this is what happens. The people that do spend that kind of time working out, but have a full-time job, they end up getting takeout for dinner. They end up saying, oh, I don't have time to cook. I don't have time to meal prep. So if you're gonna go for 60 to 90 minutes of exercise a day and you're wanting to lose weight, I urge you, take into account the things we just talked about before you make that decision. You might be better off cutting out some things from your diet. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Emily Maria and I am your French BFF here in the US. If you've enjoyed the video so far, please go ahead and like it. It really does make a difference in helping to spread my message. And if you're a returning subscriber of mine, thank you so much for being here. Je vous adore. However, I have a small favor to ask of my returning subscriber. Would you please leave a comment down below? Believe it or not, it helps my channel so much. Plus, I love to interact with you guys. All right, back to our regular topic now. Now, that's not to say that exercising is not healthy. It's actually one of the healthiest things you can do for your body, exercising, other than maybe quitting smoking. But it's not a tool for weight loss, and I wish we would stop talking about it as if it's a tool for weight loss. It just doesn't burn that many calories what really makes a difference is eating less and eating things that are higher in quality. They actually did a study. They took a group of people that live in Tanzania and they're people that are um, living a more uh, primitive lifestyle. Uh, you know, they're not part of society. They don't have electricity. They live off the land and they have to hunt for their survival. So obviously they're always super active. So you would think that they would spend a lot of calories. Well, it turns out that they don't. The amount of calories that their body uses daily just being active is about the same as somebody that has a desk job in America and the reason why these people in that Tanzania group are so skinny is because they don't eat that much researchers have just come to the conclusions that overall for weight loss or for maintenance it's really what you eat as opposed to how much you exercise even me I actually had to stop exercising for a month and a half and I love to exercise and I do it more for mental health reasons and for my body to maybe look a little bit more tone but I actually stop exercising for six weeks because I hurt my knee and there was a part of me that was concerned that I was going to gain weight and guess what I watched what I eat I made sure to eat in smaller portions I did intermittent fasting and when I stepped on the scale six weeks later I had gained zero now exercise also leads to this thing called compensatory behavior after you've worked out your body will tend to avoid further effort for the rest of the day and by further effort what that means is really 
burning less calories and using less energy. It's just a scientific term to say that once you've worked out, you tend to chill for the rest of the day. So overall, it's one of the reasons why the French don't tend to exercise and they're still very small. The French are skinny. The French tend to eat whatever they want, but in smaller quantity and they don't really work out, but they stay active. They take the stairs. You know, they actually don't have a lot of elevators in France, believe it or not. A lot of these buildings are way older. They walk everywhere. They, you know, they'll bike places like an actual bicycle, like not a motorcycle. So they're always in motion. That's what really makes a difference. And overall, even if you can commit the 90 minutes a day it takes to see weight loss with exercise, are you going to be able to work out that much for the rest of your life to not skip a day? Probably not. Life is busy. People have families. People have to work overtime. There's just so many things that can get in the way. And that is why exercise, while very healthy, not the best way to lose weight. I would highly recommend instead making lifelong changes to your diet. Try intermittent fasting. I have a great video on that and I will link it up there. Make changes like eating whole foods, eating organic foods. That is also one of the reasons why the French are skinny, why the French seem to effortlessly stay skinny or thin their entire life. I've heard people tell me this, and I have experienced that myself, where, you know, they're like, oh, I went to France and I was there for a month and I did not go to the gym and I just ate whatever I wanted. I came home and I had gained zero weight. I just couldn't believe it. I'll tell you why. It's because the quality of the food is more pure. Make an effort to cook at home. Make your own food and eat organic. You'll see that is much more sustainable for the long run when it comes to weight loss or just weight maintenance. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you do know that I like to work out. I like to go for walks every day. I love to do Tracy Anderson workouts. I like to catch a hot Pilates class sometimes. I like to even go to a standard gym, but I do it for my mental health. I do it because I prefer to have a certain shape to my body. I do it because I'm 37 years old and I prefer to feel firmer and that comes with a little bit of exercise but I don't do it for a weight loss reason. I don't do it to maintain my weight. I maintain my weight by doing intermittent fasting and by eating smaller portions. Don't work out if you don't like it. Don't exercise if you don't like it because ultimately you'll just resent it. I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope you better understand now how it is that the French don't exercise and they stay skinny.